Previously, I did mention that I will come out a video that related about how to farm the Enigma Gyrum. And I do not know about most of you, but I feel like maybe some people will still struggle about how to farm this Enigma Gyrum. Especially, this is a rare resources that I really need to get from solving puzzles where most people do not know how to do that. That's why I decided to come out a video that tried to simplify as much as I could that how to farm this Enigma Gyrum by solving all these puzzles in the Dubiri Paradox. So, without further ado, let's hop right into it. In order to farm Enigma Gyrum in Dubiri Paradox, you need to solve the puzzles in the Dubiri Paradox. There's two puzzles in total. The first one being the Owl Statue puzzle that located all around the world, and the second one is the Art Harbor puzzle room that located in the Art Harbor. Now before we explain all the detail about these two puzzles, I would like to thank about a player that managed to create a Google Sheet about all the guides on how to do these two puzzles. So if you want to do, I will leave the link down in the description below for you to check it out. Now why don't we start out a simple one first, the Owl Statue puzzle first. Based on what I know right now, there's two kinds of Owl Statue puzzle. One being the Solo Statue, another one being a Duo Statue. Unfortunately, I'm a solo player, so there's no such way that I can encounter the dual statue. That's why I will more focus on this solo statue for now. For this owl statue puzzle, it is nice that because it's actually spawned in the whole map. Means that no matter where you are, they always have a chance that they could spawn. So you don't need to be worried about trying to farm these at a specific spiral. Now in order for you to solve this puzzle, it's a very simple one. When you saw the statue, you know that the puzzle is just at there around it. What you need to do is that you need to solve based on the icons on the statue, based on the coin that you have. Until right now, I encountered two kinds of puzzles we need to solve. The first one being, three coins are all together, and you need to solve all the coins appropriately, the icons of the statue. The second one being, there's only one coin for you to solve the three icons. So when you solve one icon, you need to take that coin out and solve and put it into the second one and the third one next on in order to solve the whole puzzle. Of course, I would expect that most people try to look at this video because they more want to know how to solve the Arcabo puzzle room to farm the Enigma Giant from there. Usually, I will split this into two parts. The first part being how to gain access to the puzzle room and the second one, how to solve the puzzle. For the first part, we need to find a way to enter the Art Harbor puzzle room. If you take a look at the map here, there's three directions here, being the 8 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and the 4 o'clock. What we need to know is that the 8 o'clock I would consider as the main gateway, which is the one that you will be more focused on. But if you take a look on this map, it is possible that if you want to solve this part, you can just go in a clockwise direction, means then start from 8, then to the 12, and finally 4, and back to the 8. Why does that matter? Because the way to solve this part is quite simple. What you need to do here is that for each direction, there's one security that you need to hack into to disable it, and there's a statue alongside with each of the security, where you need to push this statue to face toward the centers. When you hack all the security and let all the statues face toward the center. You can notice that when you solve at the last one, which is at the 4 o'clock direction, you can see that the statue will start to glow. This indicates that you have finished all the works you need to do. Now going back to the 8 o'clock direction, which is the main hallway, you can actually go under the securities to gain access to a small passage. Don't worry about the 12 and the 4 o'clock. Those two are just dead at For this part, you can notice that there's actually a small panel for you to gain access. That's because when you access this panel, a statue will rise up and it will turn around and face toward a small room. That room is the Art Harbor puzzle room that you will need to enter. We're going all through this because we need to open up the gate that lock up the Art Harbor puzzle room by hacking the security and facing all the statue toward the center. This is why this is important before you need to go through. When you open up the gate, all you need to do is just ride your cave and just fly into it. Then you gain access to the Art Harbor puzzle room. When you enter the Art Harbor puzzle room, what you notice is that there's a statue with the icons where four of them are shown and four of them are hidden. You know that there's actually four coins that are not inserted, but the four coins are actually just inside these Art Harbor rooms only. When you take a look at the back direction, 
This actually just at the back of the four pillars only. Starting from the left, you just need to push it down. Then the second third just need to break up the capsule. And the last one just inside the bush. Just break all these and you get all the coins to fit into the remaining slot that don't have the coins in there. When you finish inserting all the coins, it is time to start solving the puzzle. This is the part where most people struggle about because there's no such way that how to solve this puzzle with a lot of coins in there where there's a chance that they will be have the same icons that repeat each a coin. But actually, there's a few tricks that you can try to use it to solve this puzzle. The first tip is that the four shown icons is actually located at the four coins furthest away from the icons pillar. Means that it is just actually the two left furthest and the two right furthest. Why does that matter? Because what we need to do here, we can start solving this shown icon first by solving the four back coins here. When you finish solve this coin, you can actually see that the four show icons actually showing a pattern here. For this case, I found that the pattern is a Z shape that starts from the bottom right up to the top left. But why is this pattern so important? Because this pattern will also use it into the hidden icon for the remaining four, which is the four coins that closest to the icon statue. So by using the same pattern here, we could also know that the first hidden icon will be start from the bottom right. And following the Z shape, the last hidden icon will be end at the top left. So by using this, we just need to follow the pattern as solved based on the hidden icon that we need to solve for each coin separately. Then we'll be able to easily solve this our harbor puzzle room. So there you have it. It is true that in the very beginning, this puzzle may seem to be hard to solve it because we generally have no idea how to solve it in the first place. But trust me, the more you solve it, the more easier it will become. Like me right now, I can manage to take around 5 or 10 minutes to solve this Ahaba puzzle room. Because when you solve it a few times later on, you know that what the patterns will be and it will eventually become so easy to solve. So trust me, just follow what you know about it and eventually we can solve it with just a little bit of time. If this is your first time watching, why not leave a like and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out any newest contacts from me. Why not leave your comments down below if you got any ideas or thoughts you want to share with all of us. And that's it from me, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!